Hey guys, um, sorry I'm like really far away from the camera and you can't really see me but I'm just gonna roll with it. Um, it is day s seven of the new year, whole week in and I am still loving life, living the motivation, determination, mojo for this 2019 year um let's see I did not make a video yesterday so that is a real letdown um but I did have a lot going on I could have made one at like 11 o'clock at night but I just was like you know what it happens I worked 10 hours and I, I had gotten up and gone to church and I caught up with my friend April like I said which was like so so satisfying to me and I just loved it I love deep intentional conversations with friends and um it's just really cool I didn't really have a great community until this past year and um I just love it I love it a lot I love what God's doing in my life um so one of the things April and I talked about was just like working out and like how um this year I'm really just like being intentional about like my health um and like working out and in eating and I just hate that every time I get on a health kick I'm I'm really really passionate about it and I stick to it for like a month or two but then I just stop but like this year I'm just not doing that I'm just gonna I'm just gonna work hard and make it a lifestyle <sighs> sorry um, and t so today we went to the gym together and we had an awesome workout. I'm like so sore already, um, but it was just such a good workout and I'm just like so happy with how hard I worked. Um, I love working out with someone because it makes, it pushes me. Um, so that was really cool. And I'm pretty sure that we're going to start working out more together. So I'll probably work out with her on Tuesday, Thursdays when school starts. And then I think we're going to run in the mornings on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I don't know. We're going to talk about that again later. Whatever. Um, came back. Had a killer omelet. It was so good. Um, with sausage, onion, and spinach and cheese on it. It was really good. Um, and some more coffee. I'm still pretty tired just like in this tired funk but like it's okay because I'm still getting everything done but I don't know that's one thing I don't like about winter is I am always tired and ugh, blah. but I'm excited because I start this job at Betco on the 14th so they sent me over my paperwork and I'm gonna get that done today and then I also I'm gonna get laundry done and probably gonna take like an hour nap and then crank that stuff out and I am totally an advocate for naps by the way I love naps I think God created them for a reason naps motivate you to get stuff done to power through the day um rejuvenate you in the middle of the day but this evening I think I'm gonna hang out with Abby in April because my friend Abby is back now too. So I'm so excited to see her as well. She lives in Pennsylvania, but she goes to school here. And she's actually, I'm not living with myself anymore um, starting in August. Um, I'm moving in with Abby and my friend Tawny. We're all living together in this super cute um, house. Well, it's actually a duplex, but it's super cute. Um, three bed, two bath, big kitchen really cute I'm excited um yeah and also one last thing I want to say before I get off here well actually two things one I watched the second video of um evicting idols so powerful amazing check it out Michael Todd the man literally life-changing I'm going to Tulsa April and I were actually talking about that this morning um going down there when I'm going down there this summer because he just, he wrecks my world. I just, he's so good. And that message just, wow. 
rattled me. But, um, the other thing, I'm, I really don't like Netflix. I feel like it makes me lazy and I can binge it and I don't like that. But there's a show on there my sister sent me to watch. It's called Tidying Up with Marie, Marie Kondo. Um, I just watched the first episode and I'm starting the second one. Um, but I think I'm going to wait to watch the second one till later because, like I said, I don't like binging it. But it is a super good show. She, t she teaches people how to declutter their houses. And even if you're not a super cluttered person, like, I'm not. I like being organized and I don't like clutter. I throw away things without even thinking about it. I'm also not, like, I am sentimental about certain things, but... I, I can throw things away super easily, like, from my past. Um, I don't, I don't hoard things. Like, I, I throw everything away, and I always like to keep things clean, but it's still, like, a really good show if you are someone who has a messy home. Because there are things, like, I have that I could definitely throw away. Like, there's, I have a lot of, like, decorations and things that just sit around I could throw away. You should check it out. It's a really good show. But I think I'm gonna take a nap, do some laundry, and fill out this paperwork for my new job that I'm so excited about. Even though I think I have a new calling from God, which is like so crazy. I've told, I think, four people about it. Um, just because I think it's important that when you hear something from God, you can't just hear it and just roll with it. I think you have to talk it out and make sure you're not just like, um, think you're hearing something because I read this thing and it said, be careful because the devil hears your prayers too. And, um, sometimes exactly what you want can be handed to you but that's not just because it's what you want isn't what you need and that's like really important to remember um yeah that's all I got I just wanted to make a video because I didn't make one yesterday and I can ramble on about things forever I made that video about my future wedding Send it to my sister because I was like, check this out. Like, isn't this so cool? Like, I love my idea. She's just like shooting down it left and right. She's like, well, what about this? What about that? Like, I don't think people will like this. How are you going to do this? And I was like, can you just be quiet? Like, you're ruining my dreams right now, honestly. She's like, well, I just don't see it. Like, I just don't understand it the way you under, like you're saying it. And I was like, well, I'll just draw up a picture for you then. But can you just be quiet because you're really hurting my feelings? And... I mean, some of her points were valid, but still, I was like, this is my dream. Just be quiet, okay? Um, it was kind of funny, but... Yeah. Alright. Check out Transformation Church, Mike Todd, amazing dude. He will... He'll shake you up. He'll make you change your life. Follow Jesus. Put God on the throne of your heart. But, it's worth it. Alright. Peace out. Enjoy your Monday.